We've always kept women invisible. We've always kept them behind the scenes, in, in the media, in history books. Of all the memorials in Washington, D.C., there was not one memorial to military women. It's 1966, I was in nursing school, and the war is winding up, and I am drawn to it, and go down to the nurses' lounge every night and watch the six o'clock news. We saw everything, but they didn't capture what the women were doing in Vietnam. I thought, well, they must have nurses over there, and that I wanted to go. So I went downtown Minneapolis, found an army nurse recruiter, and I said, well, I want to join, and I want to go to Vietnam, and she said, sign on the dotted line, so I did. And then I went home to tell my parents. That was hard. My dad comes up from the barn after milking cows. He was very upset. And he held me in his arms and burst into tears and said, I have four sons and I send my daughter off to war. This week, about 38 pretty young American Army nurses landed at Queen Yon to help set up a huge mobile field hospital. I remember it was 108 degrees and the sheer volume of patients. I mean, those beds were full. Vietnam was one big petri dish full of infectious disease and bacteria. We took care of thousands. hit hard up there. We were right in the combat area. Our hospital was under attack many times. We were rocketed and we were mortared. And then you get the red alert, you got five minutes. Get your helmet, get your flak jacket, and get those patients under beds. The nurses were so busy taking care of the patients and protecting them, we didn't have time to worry about ourselves. And they came first. Women, because they were mothers, were fierce. We're like mama bears. It was my job to protect those men. And did I think that was brave? No, I, it was my job. It was hard coming back. The war has escalated and people's anti-war sentiment has escalated, but I didn't realize till I came home that they were taking it out on us. It was traumatic to veterans to be treated like that. And then it occurred to me, well, I'm a Vietnam vet. Women were there too and we're suffering just like they are. There were so many people against it and had set out to make sure it never got there. An article in a Virginia newspaper said adding a statue of a woman at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial would be like adding a tacky lawn ornament. Why do they deserve a memorial when there are only a handful of us there? And for every nasty letter to the editor, there'd be these wounded vets coming out of the woodwork saying, how dare you say these things about the nurses? If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be alive. I wouldn't be here today. I got up and I said to them, is not saving the lives of 350,000 wounded men in Vietnam of lasting historical significance to our nation. And I sat down, and you could hear a pin drop. I come here to the Vietnam Women's Memorial. Hundreds of women come up to me and hug me and they say, thank you, Diane, we needed this memorial. It's changed my life. We can feel proud of our service at the Vietnam Memorial. It will be there for kids, for the younger generation to see and know that women can be brave and courageous too.